Hello friends, this video on coordination compound part 30 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Here, we have to write the, again, IUPAC name, oxidation state, electronic configuration, coordination number, everything for this. Also give the stereochemistry, magnetic moment of this complex, a lot of things. So, let's first write the oxidation state. Oxidation state, this is 0, this is 0, this is so Cr2, F4 is minus 2, minus 2 into minus 4. So if you solve this, that will be x, this is plus 1. So plus 1 plus x plus 0 plus 4 will be 0. Solve the value of x, x comes out to be plus 3. So the oxidation state is plus 3. This part is done. Okay. Coordination number, water is bonded to two water molecules and two bidented oxalate. So 4 plus 2, 6. So coordination number is 6. This part is also done. Okay. So for electronic configuration, this is octahedral now. You can draw shape like this. This is TPG and this is EG. Water is a weak ligand. And let's see. Uh, what is this? This is chromium 3 plus. Chromium 3 plus is 3D. Chromium is 3D5 plus 1, 3D3. So even if it is weak or strong, it doesn't matter because you have to fill only 3 electrons. So the electronic configuration will be T2G3, EG0. That is a d orbital electronic configuration. This is done. Okay. Stereochemistry. This is octahedral, you know. This is D2SP3. Depredation. Why? Because coordination number 6, we need 6 orbitals. D orbitals are free through so D2 sp3 hybridization octahedral. Let's draw the shape again. So two oxalate ions. And this is S2. This is S2. One possibility. This is trans. One we can have cis, where two water molecules are 90 degree to each other. And the other are auxiliary plants. Okay, this is trans and this is optically inactive. You can see if you draw a mirror image, it will be the same. This is cis, this is optically active. If you draw a mirror image, it will actually be non superimposable and you can have uh, labor rotatory and dextro rotatory. Okay, now that is done. Magnetic moment. Magnetic moment is mu is equal to root of n into n plus 2. n is number of unpaired electron. Here we can see 3 unpaired electron root of 3 into 3 plus 2. Root of 3 into 5 is 15 almost equal to 4 bar magnetron. This is done. And IUPAC name. IUPAC name is so cation and anion. This is cation first, then anion. So cation first is potassium. Then anion. Anion is by complex compounds, so first we will write ligand and then metal. In ligand we have water, is aqua and then we have oxalate. So A come first, so we will write aqua first. Aqua there are two, so I will write di, aqua, then two oxalate. So since it is uh, shellac, um, bi dented ligand, I can write uh, bi, we can use bis actually. Instead of di, we use bis. Exalato. Okay. And then I'm done with the ligands and chromium. So write chromate here. Why chromate? Because it is in the negative ion. And then with the oxidation uh, number of the chromium, that is 3. Okay. And then we have three molecules here: water, tri, hydrate. So it'll be potassium, diaquate, bis, exalato, chromium, chromate, 3, trihydrate. Let's take a similar example. So here also we have to write the IUPC name, oxidation state, everything. So first, light admitted IUPC name only. CONS35, Cl, Cl2. So here this is my cation, this is an ion. First cation comes, cation I have ligands and then metal. First ligand comes, ligand and metal. In ligand I have amine, then chloro. Right in ascending order, first amine. So I have five amine, right? So I'll write penta. Amine, amine is done. Then chloro, single chloro, chloro is done. Then cobalt, 
the oxidation state, let's find the oxidation state. This is minus 2, this is minus 1, this is 0, and this is x. x plus 0 minus 1 minus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to plus 3. So we need plus 3. And then chlorine ion, so write chloride. This is the name pentaamino chloro cobalt 3 chloride. Oxidation state plus 3 we have just seen. Electronic configuration. For electronic configuration, first we have to see it is tetrahedral or octahedral. You see there are 6 coordination number, coordination number is 6, 5 plus 1 6. It's also done. That means it is octahedral. I can write T2G and E splitting in this fashion. Okay. Now cobalt 3 plus has the electronic configuration of 3G6. Cobalt has 3D7, 4 S2, so it is 3D6. 6 electron I have to put. NS3 is a strong field again. Cl minus is weak, but we have more of NS3, so I'll assume it is a strong field. First three electrons will come here, fourth will come here, fifth will come here, sixth will come here. It will be pairing because NS3 is a strong field again. So the electronic configuration will be T2G6, EG0. This is done. Stereochemistry and magnetic moment. First, find, let's find magnetic moment. There is zero unpaired electrons, so magnetic moment will be zero. This is done. Now is the stereochemistry. So let's see this. I have five amine and one chlorine. Cobalt is in the center. One chlorine I'll put here, and five amine I can put anywhere. Right? NH3, 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 NH3. You can put anywhere, doesn't matter. Correct. So with that, you will see that there is no geometrical isomers for this. I can't find the geometrical. Because once I have put chlorine, I have all amine molecules to put, I can put anywhere. Right? And if I take optical isomer also, then if I take a mirror image, at least for this, I will not get. But what if I put chlorine here and NS3 there? It is all same actually, both are same compound, just doing in this different direction because I want to form a mirror image here. Or if that is the compound which I am looking for, I have, to, I have to form a mirror image there. So let's form a mirror image here. If you see mirror image, this is NS3, this is NS3, this is Cl, this is NS3, this is NS3, and this is NS3. And this is my cobalt. Now if you see, are these superimposable? They are not superimposable. Thus I can see that there is one optical isomer. No geometric isomer, but one optical isomer. Okay. If I had taken the earlier case, I have to take the mirror image in other direction. Then I would have to take mirror image in this direction. Okay. Similar question. Write all these things: spent IOPC name, oxidation state, everything for this compound. Let me first find the oxidation state. This is 0, this is minus 3, this is x, x minus 3 is equal to 0, x is plus 3. Oxidation state is plus 3, I am done. Because that is required for IUPAC name also. Let's write IUPAC name. This both of them is one compound. So they are two ligand, different type of ligands. One is chloro and this is pyridine. Okay, so first we talk about uh, writing the Coordination compound, ligand come first, then metal, and in ligand we have chloro and then pyridine. So C comes first. So first I write chloro. We have three chloro, tie chloro, three pyridine, tie pyridine. I'm done with the ligand. Then I have to write chromium. And in charge of chromium is three is the neutral ion, so that's the name. Done with the name. Electronic configuration to write that first I have to see the coordination number. 3 chlorine, 3 pyridine, total coordination number is 6. 6, that means it is octahedral. I can form the splitting like this T2G here, EG here. Okay. Now let's see the chromium plus 3. Chromium plus 3, if you see, is 3D3. Only 3 electrons, so it will be obviously here, despite of my ligands. So the electronic configuration will be 3, T2G3, EG0. Okay. And this is D2. Sp3 hybridization. Why D2? Because there are two d orbitals here, then x and then p orbitals. It will form, it needs three or six orbitals because the coordination number is six. 
So it will form D2SP3 habitation. D2SP3 is we know is octahedral. So in this case, I have one chromium here. I have three chlorine and three pyridine. So I can put three chlorine in 90 degree each and three pyridine is 90 degree each. There is one possibility. There is other possibility actually where I can show you. I can put this chlorine at uh, 180 degree each. Third chlorine I have to put here. And these two pyridine I can put here. Right? Since both are equal number, I have two possibilities. In one case, both the chlorines are, all the three chlorines are in 90 degree each. And in this case, two chlorines are in 180 degree. Okay. And if you see actually, if you draw the mirror image, you will see that both these isomers are optically active. So 2 plus 2, 4 isomers you will get. Right? Two geometrical isomers we have got. And each of these two geometrical isomers has two optical isomers each. Okay, so total four isomers. Let's find the magnetic moment. Mu is root n into n plus 2. N is what? Number of unpaired electron 3. 3 into 3 plus 2, 5. That is root 15. It is almost equal to 4 bar n. Okay. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attend free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.